Marvel newly released Moon Knight trailer shows Ethan Hawke's villain summoning a demon to slay Oscar Isaac's titular hero. Hawke plays Arthur Harrow, a cult leader linked with the deity Amit who wishes to purify the planet and sees Moon Knight as a barrier to his ambitions in the Marvel Cinematic Universe series. For his evil portrayal, the four-time Oscar nominee claimed he was inspired by a variety of people, including notorious cult leader David Koresh, psychiatrist Carl Jung, and Nazi doctor Joseph Mengele. Moon Knight will follow Stephen Grant, a mild-mannered gift store employee who discovers that his blackouts and sleep issues are caused by his dissociative identity disorder and that his actual identity is mercenary Mark Spector, who has become the Egyptian moon god Khonshu's conduit. In addition to Grant and Spectre, the MCU series will include the Mr. Knight Alter Ego, a street-level investigator dressed in all-white. The next entry in Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Moon Knight, is just around the horizon, and the studio behind the series is hoping to keep the hype going. Marvel has released a new Moon Knight trailer with just over a week till the show's launch. May Kalamai's Layla tries to persuade Isaac Stephen Grant to summon his eponymous suit and personality, much to Hawk's Harrow's dismay as he utilizes his abilities to summon a demon in the clip. Though the new Moon Knight trailer isn't the first time we've seen Hawk's villain use his skills, it is the greatest glimpse we've seen so far. In previous previews, the figure was revealed to be able to alter his scale tattoo in a mystical manner as well as use a mystery staff for unknown reasons, with the current footage really showing him summoning a demon to kill Mark and Layla. The introduction of the demon in the new teaser is an intriguing hint of what's to come from Moon Knight, which is set to fully bring the supernatural to the MCU. In addition to Hawk's abilities, the new Moon Knight trailer teases an unexpected path from some of the combat sequences. Though there are cuts between Hawk and Kalamai's characters leaving and Hawk's villain calling the demon, the first half of the action was definitely shot in one take, making it the latest MCU series to do so following Daredevil's legendary Season 1 hallway brawl and Season 3's jailbreak sequence. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.